Well, I think having our people in camp on time, and uh, as I say, we've had a good camp working. Uh, Craig being with us uh, from the start rather than coming in halfway. And, and then just, uh, I think, my knowing uh, our players maybe a little better and them knowing uh, me and what we expect and how we want to work. And I think the combination of those things. Are you... Are you on track of the plan that you hoped that you told Mr. Mario you would put in for the Giants? Plan? I don't have any plan. Well, uh, objectives. I just, uh, so. my, my objective, if, you know, first of all, if there wasn't a problem there, I wouldn't be there. Right. And it's my job to try to solve a problem. And I'm pleased with the progress we've made. We still have uh, a lot of progress to, to, to make. We're not at the top of the mountain by any uh, part of the imagination. But uh, I do think we've improved, and I do think we'll be a better football team this year. What about the feeling personally going against your former boss? This will be the first time. Yeah, well, I'm just looking forward to, you know, doing this. Uh, it's something I've thought a lot about, and it's uh, just a good to be a part of the game. Uh, mm -hmm. See the crowd, see the handkerchiefs waving, and, uh, and now I'm on the other side, you know. <laughs> well, you don't want to see too many waving there. <laughs> no. Any doubt, any doubt in your mind that the game would not be played from your player standpoint because the Dolphins did say they were ready to play? I think there had to be doubt when they, they took a vote and decided to delay the game. We told them we thought that as professional athletes, the consideration of the fans who are already in the stand who are coming, that they owed it to the fans to play the game on time as scheduled to the best of their ability.
Is it true that the owners uh, have called a special meeting for Monday in New York? No, it is not true. I understand, however, that the federal mediator has called for a meeting between players and owners. I assume the committees, but I don't know. Is that a result here. of what happened here this evening and what happened in New England? That I don't know. I, I would assume that uh, the mediator feels that uh, uh, the crunch is coming when there are pressures building up on both sides that would make it possible for him to effect an agreement. We understand that, of course, the negotiations had broken off in the last week, but did you expect anything like this to happen? Did the New England announcement and then your players holding a closed meeting and asking all people to leave the locker room, did that come as a surprise to you? Well, we have been considering this possibility since last spring because the union leadership has mentioned that they did not foresee a, an overall strike, but they did think that there might be some, quote, job actions. And we felt that the logical time for someone to exert that type of pressure would be at the end of the preseason period. So we were prepared for such an eventuality, and we had all last week draw, uh, prepared for reactions to various possibilities, and this was one of them. Looking ahead, do you personally feel this is going to have any effect on the opening of the season, the schedule opening of the season a week from now, your game in Philadelphia? I don't think it will, but it, it, the possibility can't be ruled out, and as I told our players tonight, uh, by not going on the field tonight, they would jeopardize the season.